What's up guys? My name is Ashton Lambert. I'm a mortgage agent with Synergy Mortgage Group and a real estate investor myself. Our brokerage puts an emphasis on helping clients scale their real estate portfolio. If you're a real estate investor, you're going to have multiple transactions over your lifespan. We want to build relationships with our clients and take them from one property to two properties to five to ten and so on and so forth. The way we do this is through expert advice, world-class servicing, and long-term planning. Come on inside with me and spend a few minutes. I'm going to share some tidbits on the mortgage side to help you you start your rookie real estate investing career. There's tons of great mortgage agents out there and you have a lot of options when you look to take on a mortgage or numerous mortgages in your real estate investing career. One of the number one things you want to look for though is someone with underwriting experience. An average mortgage agent will do around 20 to 25 files a year. The average underwriter will see thousands a year. My suggestion is to work with someone who has underwriting experience. That way, they're gonna know where to place a file, they're gonna know where to place the next file, and as you grow your portfolio and maybe your mortgage application becomes a little bit tougher, they're gonna have the expertise and the underwriting knowledge to always be one step ahead for that next real estate transaction you're looking to take on. So the number one thing people always say is that obviously a bank has one product and a mortgage agent has many products. It's pretty obvious to me. I think one of the most important things is that you want someone who is 100% mortgages. It's what a mortgage agent is. You work with someone at the bank, there's a lot of great people there, but sometimes they're selling insurance, um, dealing with investments, maybe dabbling in mortgages. So number one thing that I think is the main difference is someone who is 100% mortgages and who can give you that expert advice that you're needing slash wanting to build your real estate portfolio. So I say this a lot, but proactive planning is one of the best ways to qualify for an investment property or any mortgage slash real estate transaction of any kind. Proactive planning will give you the ability to build out transactions in advance. Maybe you're wanting to buy in six months. Well, plan proactively and have a conversation with a mortgage agent to maybe identify any hurdles that could be addressed now and to at least set you up for when you want to pull the trigger on that initial purchase. Proactive planning also ties into, okay, you're buying a property. Well, maybe you want to refinance that property later down the road after you do some renovations to it. Well, make sure when you're working with someone, they're building out, hey, here's what you qualify for, for buying a property, but proactively, here's down the road what that transaction looks like when you potentially go to refinance. Credit's important, but don't fixate on your credit score. I've seen people with monthly payment obligations, two, three visas, two, three lines of credit, um, have great credit, and then on the opposite end, I've seen people with no debt obligations on a monthly basis have bad credit. So sometimes the scoring system can be a little skewed. So don't focus exactly on what your credit score is. Um, the main thing to consider is what are the actual debts you're carrying. So if you have a line of credit and there's a big balance on it, a visa, a uh, student loan, um, or even a car payment, which is obviously one of the bigger ones, those are the things that are really gonna draw back um, your affordability options when looking to purchase real estate. So again, have a proactive conversation. Um, if there are any credit concerns or anything you can work on, those can be addressed up front and not at the very last minute. Typically, when you're investing in real estate, you're looking to scale your portfolio, right? So fixed rate products come with some penalties if you ever break a mortgage. And typically, when you're looking to scale, you might be breaking your mortgages to scale. So something to consider on the fixed end is maybe it gives you some comfort in terms of payment, but make sure someone's having an educational discussion on you that, hey, if you break these mortgages, there's some penalties associated with doing so. On the opposite end, on the variable end, penalties for breaking those mortgages are much lower. So again, uh, make sure you're having a conversation with a professional. They're gonna educate you on fixed versus variable options. And ultimately, the interest rate chosen should be the one that gives you flexibility to scale your rental portfolio. So the main pro that comes to mind is being able to close on almost any real estate transaction. Maybe you found a property, needs a lot of work and a conventional lender won't finance it. Maybe it's in a certain location. It's outside the location realms that some lenders will finance. Uh, maybe it's a super quick closing. Maybe you're self-employed and you're not showing enough earnings on paper, but in the real world, uh, you are making the money that you need to qualify for the deal, but a big bank won't see that on paper. Um, private financing can be utilized to ultimately allow you to close on a transaction um, in a quick and timely manner. 
Some of the cons that come to mind are obviously there's a bit of a premium in terms of rate options in the private lending world, and there are some fees to help close those transactions as well. So one of the rules of thumb with private lending is make sure that you have an exit strategy. Are you looking to sell the property later? Are you gonna renovate it and then maybe refinance it later and move it to a conventional lender? Um, are you self-employed and maybe you're working on structuring your taxes so that you can qualify with a different lender and get yourself out of that private mortgage later? Having an exit strategy um, is the main rule of thumb because no private mortgage option is meant to be long-term. So make sure you're having the discussions up front and that you have a game plan to make sure that although you utilize the private lender to take on the project that you wanted, that you're able to get out of it as well. Great question. So we actually had a client working directly with his bank. He was trying to acquire his fourth property and they told him, sorry, no, you don't qualify to do this. So he reached out to us via social media. We collected his documentation and we had a look at the file. Um, we noticed that we could make a small change to one of his existing mortgages slash properties and improve the terms on that mortgage. After doing that, he was able to qualify for his fourth property with that very same lender that told him that he couldn't do that. So again, as you look to scale your real estate portfolio and grow, um, having a mortgage agent or a mortgage team in your corner that has underwriting experience and can identify opportunities to get you to where you wanna be is super important. I think the most important piece of information is that if you're a new investor, make sure you build your power team before you go out and try to build your portfolio. Find that realtor that you're needing, find that lawyer that you're needing, find an appraiser, find a mortgage agent, find those people and make sure that you trust them and that they're giving you advice um, based on their own dealings, based on maybe doing the things that you're wanting to do, uh, making sure that they practice what they preach. So um, yeah, my number one piece of advice, my number one piece of information I wanna share to any new investors is don't do it alone, build your power team, and that's how you'll build your portfolio. Thanks for watching. My name's Ashton Lambert with Synergy Mortgage Group, and that concludes the mortgage side of what you'll wanna know as a rookie real estate investor. I hope you take this information and you use it to accelerate your wealth.